Hi friends, today I am going to show you um, the anger stitch kit uh, video. I have few stitch kits available with you. I will just show you a basic introduction how to do this. So, uh, you might have seen one of my videos where this uh, I was showing the process video of this. This video, this stitch kit was done over a lot of years. I started it uh, and if you, if you look at my the progress video, you will know that I have um, taken a lot of time but the major work was done during this lockdown this is the smallest size that is available and um, so this is how the finished product looks and this is the behind I have the they don't ask you to put a knot but I prefer to put a knot so this is my back looking like is a picture that I used mostly to make this one without such a thing it is tough to figure out so uh, okay this is stone but this is the color guide that they give but for me um, this this was this picture was more useful so uh, you should be if you have any doubts about how the things should come in how the finished product should be coming this is a picture that i would suggest you to go back to doing it so i have two kits one is uh, impression series and this is the masterpiece series uh, this is mother mary i one day i wish to complete this i don't know how much time and when i'll be able to complete it but this is my one of my dream to complete this and this is the impression uh, series so i can show you so i'll open this this is a brand new kit i've just opened it because my son was very happy was very curious to know what it is so it comes like this so these are the extra uh, threads that they give. These are all anchor threads. So this is the needle that we are supposed to use. And this is the, the this is how the finished product will look. Or this is how it will look. This is the guide that you will get along with it. And so they will also show you what colors. This is the shade number. I can show you what suppose if you see the um, B, B is side 352, you can see that the shade number 352. So, uh, so they are saying that they have given me 5 of those. Because if you can see the design, mo most prominent colors are this, this brown color which is a shade B. So they have given me 5 of this. So I am not opening it right now, but you can see that these are all anger threads. You can see the shades here. These are like the only one skeins. You call this 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 one as one skein. So they have only given me one. So in this design, you can see that um, major uh, is this this brown color, and uh, there is a, this blue blue which is this. Uh, there are three skeins. The rest of it you can finish in one. So uh, what I've seen is that whatever estimate they have done, it it is correct. And you will only need that much thread but in case you lose any of this suppose these thread you lose any of this because of time or by some chance you misplace it you can always go to a shop and ask for these uh, these numbers so they'll give you that so don't worry about all this these are commonly available shapes so yes so so this is the pattern if you can see uh, this is the pattern that you have you might need to iron it or maybe using i'm not sure if you should iron it straight over it but otherwise you should iron it so this is the one okay so um now the next part in the end i'll show you how to do this design i'll just start it up and i'll show you now over to this design i'm sure you are all curious to see a bigger design I hope I won't miss any of these parts. Okay, so, and I have not opened this part. Okay. So, this is the one. Again, this is the finished product of Mother Mary. And the size is 33 centimeter into... 33 centimeter into 39 centimeter. This is the how the finished product looks but um, I, this this is very tough because it's not actually the finished product it's tough to know the thread pattern okay, let me see if there is in one more there so you can see all the required threads are here in this one 
there are a lot more number of schemes involved I can see here five blues blue three greens and all those things and this is the pack it's way more complicated so there are 35 skins in this one mm, yeah but yeah this looks good i wish to do it sometime soon so this is going to be a huge uh, project it's going to take a long time but this is the comparison size if you want this is very small but it took me a lot of time so i'm not sure how much time it will take for me to complete this or this yeah but i will one day try to attempt and finish so if you have to do this um, i would suggest that you start with here this uh, this um this c here so it is in middle of the um design as well as um that is the darker of the uh, colors if you do the lighter colors initially it is very much possible that they get um, dirty by the time you finish this one so i would suggest that um we will do this blue little later so i will start with this another suggestion would be to use that is uh, embroidery hook because i think because it's a huge design when you do it with a embroidery hook it may make your life easy smaller designs it doesn't require embroidery hooks but bigger designs do require so this since this this fabric is little thick <laughs> it takes some time to fix it now i have fixed it it did take some time uh, it's not that easy because my uh, frame is not that strong as well as um, the this fabric is quite thick but i believe using a frame will help mm -hmm. so all of these i have this instruction stop skin only against the card and pull the free end of the third cut to desired length so there's a way to take this out so if you can see here it here here is a this card has a free end and can pull it here to get the desired length since i've been just showing it as a demo i'll take a smaller piece and be using this one and so this is the this is the blunt uh, this is the blunt uh, needle that you are using so put all the six strands through the needle okay so so as per uh, the stitch kit people we don't need to do that so i keep in a different length so that you will need one strand the design starts with c so here so you do this design as long stitch you should remember that all the designs would be in a vertical place there is no horizontal anything either it is a long design long stitch or a short design so it is depending on this area so i will show you a bit of it so my deep design i am assuming it to be starting here okay let me i'm assuming it to be here design at this point i'll not pull the whole thing so as per them i actually prefer to put a knot but uh, i'll show you the way that they are hooking in since i have the video here it's little a problem i leave a little length like this so you can see i will hold a little length here here and then i will come into the vertical so this hole and this hole should be in the same line vertically i understand hope you i understand so right now i'll leave this one here so i find that okay so now if you see this design goes here so after this it goes here so i pull this also i need to make sure that this end will be going in this direction so that they'll come underneath here 
So there's my this one. See now you can see that this is gone here. So I'll be building up my designs like this. And next I will be here is the next design. I'll be doing it here. So actually I made a mistake there. So here uh, if, if we can see there are two two parts going on here. There are two parts to this design. So I should be uh, going along that side. So my second design this beak of this part of the beak should be coming here. And this is a part of another. I hope you guys understood so here I'm supposed to have a different uh, I'll be using the red color but I'll be using uh, another red uh, needle to go from here to here so that is how this works so so that the designs are made properly once you start doing it you will understand it and you can see that you can see from here I don't know if you can see so you can see right so this this demarcation should be made which I'm sure if you are looking at it, you can see here. Let me I'll do a separate video on this progress of this one. So, basically, this is how it is all your uh, stitches should be long or short, but it should be vertical. Basically, one stitch of yours below and top should be in the uh, in the same line you, but once you come back here you go to the next line so there will be slight if you can see it is be similar but you can see that your needle will go into the next one to start the next uh, stitch uh, so here you can see that that's how you will see it but essentially the front and back will look the same i hope you like this video up to please share and subscribe if you like and put comments if you have any doubts about it. I'll clarify it in my comments. Thank you for watching.